The Chicago Bears now have two additional major holes in their roster. Hello everyone, I'm Andy here with Chicago Bears React, bringing you all the Chicago Bears news you're seeking in the season and now here in the off season. Before we dive in, into today's story, please take a moment, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Make sure you don't miss a thing. We're going to cover all of the news that comes out of Hallis Hall um, throughout the coming weeks, and it's going to be a turbulent time. You won't want to miss a thing. So... Uh, yesterday we got some pretty big news and this is something that I've been talking about for several weeks on the channel now um, and that's that there are two massive um, cap casualties for the Chicago Bears and that is Eddie Jackson and Cody Whitehair now Eddie and Cody um, have been with the Bears uh, longer than most they're um, they're both um, some of the, the highest tenured veterans on the roster. Cody has been uh, primarily a guard, but also, um, you know, has been a center at times, uh, not very effectively in, in uh, the most recent season, but he has done it. Um, and then obviously Eddie has been just kind of that, that center fielder um, out, out uh, in the defensive um, back room, um, really just a stabilizing force and an electrifying player um, at the safety position. And, um, you know, it's, it's sad in some ways. These are two players that um, at their best were, um, you know, two of the best players on the team, uh, realistically. Uh, there were a number of years where Cody Whitehair was really the only lineman <laughs> that uh, I think we could rely upon and trust. And then obviously Eddie was uh, just an exciting player um, on the back end. And so, um, you know, this is a big deal. This is, um, this is going to create a couple big holes. Um, you know, I think, I think, Cody's less so because uh, his play had declined enough that I think we all knew um, someone was going to have to be either signed or drafted. And um, take a, a look at the video down in the description uh, just for a look at the center position, um, some of the options um, there in free agency that we uh, dove into yesterday. Actually, that video went up basically uh, minutes before <laughs> Cody was released. Um, the Eddie Jackson one, and that's one we've discussed as well, um, you know, he's one that he does leave a hole uh, because at the end of the day, we didn't have um, he, he was a, a dependable safety. He's just expensive and he's aging. Um, and so now the Bears are going to have to either sign somebody or they're going to have to invest in draft capital. Um, and as we've been talking about, the Bears only have two picks in the first two rounds. Um, and I don't think either one of those are going to be spent on a center or a safety. And so now you're. I, you're either signing someone in free agency or you're going to have to roll the dice a little bit um, and, and hope that you can find somebody in the third, fourth, fifth round, um, which can happen, but it's, you know, not exactly good team building. And so, um, you know, if we kind of take a look at what this means, um, you know, the big reason here is, is uh, the Bears saved about $10 million a, a piece. Uh, by releasing the two of them, they're saving $21.6 million, um, and that's bringing them up now to a total of $68.4 million in cap space. Big deal. Um, and then if we kind of take a look, this is a, an, actually a pretty interesting breakdown of this. And so if you kind of round up to $70 million, um, you know, 15 million, you got to allocate toward, you got to sign your draft picks. They don't just come and play for free. Um, he's saying 18 million for Jalen Johnson. I would go a little higher and, uh, cause ultimately I'm hoping they actually sign him to an extension and, and they get that done. But, you know, you're talking that like $20 million range. Um, six million for in-season roster moves, five million for the practice squad. So ultimately, the the math here is is around twenty-five million dollars that's available for free agency. So that's an interesting number to me, um, primarily because that's probably the number Daniel Hunter is going to require. Um, and so for all you Bears fans who are really hoping the Bears go after Daniel Hunter, I would say, do you really want to bet the farm? Because that's everything. That's all of it. You know, you'll save a little bit of money when you tr when you trade Justin Fields, but you know he's he's making what six million. Uh, that's not that's not going to buy you a lot. Um, the Bears realistically, like they have they have a number of holes they have to fill. You need probably two wide receivers. You need a defensive end. You need uh, now a safety. You need a center. You probably need another guard. These people all cost money, and so. Um, 
And I think you're probably better off looking for, can you find some deals? Can you find yourself um, a six, seven million dollar center? Can you find yourself kind of like a wide receiver three in that like six, seven million dollar range? Um, you know, you can't, you can't just go out and just start throwing money at people. Um, and so before we get too excited at that, you know, $70 million in cap space, I would just point that out, um, that a lot of that money has to be allocated. And if you spend it now, um, you know, what happens next off season? Who are the players that still haven't been extended that you're going to have to extend at some point? You got them on your roster. You've got these people that ultimately you're going to have to pay. And so, um, you know, pump the brakes before we <laughs> get too excited. But uh, ultimately, this is a big first step. $20 million is $20 million. That's a That's a huge number. Um, and, and for the Bears, I think it's the right move. I think you can replace Eddie Jackson for – probably six, seven million. I think you can replace Cody Whitehair for another like six, seven million. Um, so you're talking, um, you still got another six, seven million when all said and done um, after signing the replacements that you could throw at, um, you know, tight end two, wide receiver three, pick your position that you want to, you want to resolve. So um, yeah. So let me know what you think. Uh, how, do, how do you want to see that 25 million allocated? Um, is there a particular position you want to see the, the Bears bet the farm on? Let me know in the comments. So um, thank you so much for watching. And as always, bear down.